And welcome. Thanks for joining us on NAPTIP on the Move. My name is Angela Abwegi. On today's episode, we'll bring you a package on the Judges and Prosecutors Conference, organized by NAPTIP, in collaboration with the National Judicial Institute in Abuja. Let's take a look. Stay with NAPTIP on the Move. Prosecution is one of the five-pronged approach employed by NAPTIP in its fight against human trafficking and violence against persons. To ensure speedy dispensation of justice, NAPTIP organizes conferences for judges to keep abreast with trends in human trafficking. Recently, the agency, in collaboration with the National Judicial Institute and the Action Against Trafficking in Persons and Smuggling of Migrants, a TIPSON project implemented by FIAP with funding from the European Union, organized a two-day conference on human trafficking for judges and prosecutors in Abuja. In attendance were the administrator of the National Judicial Institute, honorable judges from the Federal High Court and FCT High Court, senior advocate of Nigeria and president of Center for Socio-Legal Studies, director general of the Nigerian Institute of Advanced Legal Studies, team leader of the ATIPSUM project, director general of NAPTIP, officials from the National Judicial Institute, prosecutors from the Federal Ministry of Justice, NAPTIP Zonal Commands and Headquarters. The welcome address was delivered by the Administrator of the National Judicial Institute, Honorable Justice Salisu Garba Abdullahi. It is a great pleasure to be in your meet this morning for the Treat on Capacity Building for Judges on Trafficking in Person a collaborative program between the National Agency for Prohibition and Trafficking in Person, NAPTIP, and the National Judicial Institute, NGI. My Lord, ladies and gentlemen, the synergy between NGI and NAPTIP has recorded fundamental achievement. This is evident in the fact that this synergy has contributed in expanding the knowledge base of our judicial officers. The workshop could not have come at a better time given the critical role the judiciary has been playing in resolving emerging challenges faced in the issue of trafficking in persons in Nigeria. This is of this year's retreat, I caught appreciating the current trends of human trafficking offenses in Nigeria focus on the judiciary. On court, is deliberate as they seek to further enlighten judges on the processes, innovation, as well as challenges that arise in trafficking and person dispute. A firm grasp of these issues will in, in turn enhance the performance of court and timely education of trafficking in persons matters, which seems to be on the rise. It will not be out of place to say that NEPTIC faces a off-field task in surmounting challenges of trafficking in person, especially in the current state of economy. This year's retreat presents yet another opportunity for the participants to refresh and update their knowledge on the current issue bothering on trafficking in person. It is a vital fact that this kind of interaction between the judiciary and NAPTIC are necessary, as the critical role the judiciary is expected to play in resolving the emerging challenges faced in resolving this issue of trafficking in person in Nigeria is brought to front banner for discussion. The team leader of the Atipsum project, Rafael Rios Molina, also made a speech. 
an Egyptian is an action against trafficking in person, smuggling of Magna. With the objective to reduce the trafficking in person and smuggling with the, in a national, regional level uh, uh, between Nigeria and uh, EU member state, basically, with focusing women and, um, and children. So we are working together with the Nigerian agencies, and basically for us, NAPTIP is our key uh, uh, partner, our key beneficiary in this program. We work also with NIS and police, but if you talk uh, about trafficking, obviously NAPTIP is the key in this country. So far we have been working with the officer of these agencies, trying to provide them better capacity building, training. We have organized many, many workshops with them, also with the prosecutor, and also we believe that they just now should be the, the opportunity to involve the judges, what is so important if you want to prepare a, a case, because the the objective of this program for us is to get uh, to get better results in this area, what is trafficking and what is uh, smuggling of migrants. So for us, it's a good opportunity to be here. Honestly, we are very very happy. We have many many cases uh, coming from Spain also. What uh, has been necessary to to find out the way how to do between these two countries and, and with other European countries, talking about the mutual legal collaboration between us because we have different system. But the, I think that the organizing uh, event like this or conference like this will be a very good uh, opportunity to, to to learn more about the how to to improve our relationship. Thank you very much. In her opening remarks, the Director General of NAPTIP, Dr. Fatima Waziri Azi, highlighted the mandate of the agency, challenges and efforts made so far. Shortly after I assumed office as Director General of NAPTIP this past September, I immediately opened conversations with the leadership of the National Judicial Council to see how we could have meetings like this happening here today across the country. My number one priority to enhance the investigation and prosecution of high-profile um, trafficking cases. We all know that when we have more convictions and less impunity, that is what sends a message of zero tolerance. And due to the complexity and the enormity of the different trends of trafficking in persons, NAPTI cannot you know, achieve this on its own which is why you know, we need the support of my lords here present. NAPTIP was established in 2003 by the, the Trafficking in Persons Prohibition Establishment and Administration Act to tackle the scourge of trafficking in persons in Nigeria. So we are a law enforcement agency. We have all policing powers. We have powers to arrest. We have powers to detain, we have powers to investigate, and we have powers to prosecute all cases of trafficking in persons in Nigeria, as well as cases of smuggling of, of, of migrants. Our act um, was amended in 2005, and it was further re-enacted in 2015, and it is currently undergoing a review for further amendment. Of course, as the, the, the trends of trafficking in persons evolves, we also have to evolve. NAPTIP has recorded a total of 513 convictions since inception. We've um, recorded 16 convictions as of today, just in 2022. We currently have 261 ongoing cases across our offices in Nigeria. We have 11 ongoing mutual legal assistance cases. We currently have two in court, one in Lagos. The one in Lagos is a Spanish case, and the other one is in Benin, and that is a, a, a Belgium case. She then stated the objective of the conference. The objective of, the, of this meeting is to create awareness amongst legal practitioners and the judiciary on the current ills and trends of human trafficking as well as analyze the various elements of trafficking in persons offenses, thereby ensuring seamless investigation, effective prosecution, and more conviction of human trafficking cases.
Having concluded the opening ceremony, the technical session started in earnest with presentations by the Senior Advocate of Nigeria and President of Center for Socio-Legal Studies, Professor Yemi Akinshaye George on admissibility of electronic evidence in cases of human trafficking, current practices, opportunities and challenges, and international perspective, trafficking in persons and smuggling of migrants trials in Spain and judicial cooperation between Spain and Nigeria. The Director General of the Nigerian Institute of Advanced Legal Studies, Professor Taufik Ladan, made presentations on Victims' Rights and Protection under the Trafficking in Persons, Prohibition, Enforcement and Administration Act, Administration of Criminal Justice Act 2015 and the Constitution, as well as open discussion on protection and support to victims. Uh, the interface between our trial judges and our prosecutors you know, uh, at a retreat like this, which NAPTIP annually has been actually organizing, is to raise the awareness and then sensitize actually the two important agents of criminal justice system in Nigeria that trafficking in persons and smuggling of migrants, you know, is the business of all. That is number one. Number two, uh, it is very important for us to address the practical problems and difficulties that investigators, prosecutors, and even judges are facing in the course of actually trial of trafficking actually in persons. Uh, and uh, the, the third key actually justification for the retreat, you know, is to also learn some lessons and get some feedback. As prosecutors appear before our judges, they encounter their own problems or challenges as to why they are getting some convictions and they are getting actually low convictions. Uh, and the judges, you know, interfacing with them at a retreat, you know, are able to explain to them why they need to do more as part of their homework, you know, as required by law. Uh, and so for us, you know, as resource persons, our job is to simply constantly remind the prosecutors and investigators that this is actually what the law says you should do. The Evidence Act has provided, you know, uh, the criteria for you to follow to establish your case. The Administration of the Criminal Justice Act 2015 has set out the procedure, you know, for you as a law, for you to follow in order to actually succeed. And then you have the Chiras Act 2003, you have the Violence Against Persons Act 2015, all these are pieces of legal instrument, you know, that aid the prosecutor, you know, in actually marshalling its case so that he can actually establish the guilt of an accused person, particularly a trafficker in this case, such that the court will confidently give purposive interpretation of all the applicable laws in order to hold that person responsible. Honorable Justice K. N. Obunaya of the FCT High Court spoke on the impact of the conference. It's a well thought out plan. It's very enriching and insightful because it has given us a better perspective that when cases come before us now, we have a better understanding, not just what people have come to say, but having listened to the speakers and the resource person, take us through the heinous crime of human trafficking, we have a better understanding of it. This workshop, I must thank MAPTI for inviting us because, and I encourage them to invite all the judges from other jurisdictions outside the FCT because it will give them, just like us, we are enriched actually by this uh, uh, workshop and it will give other people better understanding. Like I have better, I've handled so many MAPTI cases. But I'm very glad that this, I attended this workshop. Thank you. I must say thank you to NAPTIP for that. The NAPTIP Director, Legal and Prosecution, Hassan Hamiz Tahir, said it will enhance the work of the department. Uh, we, we learn a lot. It's very interactive, very engaging, as you can see, and that we learn a lot, as I said. So we really benefited a lot. We are going to be better counsel or better prosecuting counsel and we are going to replicate it in other zones. 
The two-day Judges and Prosecutors Conference, which was highly interactive, was an avenue for exchange of ideas and information that will lead to more convictions and indeed enhance the fight against human trafficking. Hi! Are you aware that any person who recruits, transports, harbors or receives another person by means of force for the purpose of exploitation is a human trafficker? And that running a baby factory is not just illegal, what is considered human trafficking? Engaging a child below 12 years for domestic servitude and paying to an agent is also trafficking. Sexual exploitation, forced labor, organ harvesting, sale and purchase of persons are all forms of human trafficking. NAPTIC is leaving no stone unturned to ensure justice for the victims and ensure speedy prosecution of offenders. Shun the culture of silence and report all cases to NAPTIP. Call NAPTIP now on 0703-0000203 or the toll-free short code 627. NAPTIP, ensuring a human trafficking and violence-free nation. NAPTIP On The Move is sponsored by the International Organization for Migration, IOM. Indeed, a conference of this nature will ensure more convictions. It's time for our event segment. Don't go away. To mark the Children's Day celebration, the wife of the Vice President of Nigeria, Her Excellency Mrs. Dolakwo Ushibajo, hosted survivors from the NAPTIP shelter at Herb Garden in Abuja. The children were happy as Her Excellency interacted with them. They also had fun playing, painting, and singing. The NAPTIP officials present expressed appreciation to Her Excellency. Over the years, Her Excellency Mrs. Dolakpo Ushibajo has been supporting NAPTIP in the protection and rehabilitation of victims. The Director General of the National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons, NAPTIP, Dr. Fatima Waziri Azi, has emphasized the importance of mutual legal assistance among destination countries, effective collaboration, mutually beneficial partnership, and cooperation as a major panacea in countering human trafficking across the globe. The Director General said this receiving the Migration Advisor to the Embassy of Switzerland, Manuel Mulbach, at the agency's headquarters, Abuja. She expressed gratitude to the Embassy of Switzerland for its consistent support and collaboration with the agency in the fight against human trafficking in Nigeria. Speaking, the Migration Advisor to the Embassy of Switzerland, Manuel Mulbach, briefed the Director General on some new counter-trafficking projects being conceived by the Government of Switzerland in partnership with some implementing partners and commended the NAPTIP boss for her responsive and receptive leadership which has enhanced the successful execution of the various intervention projects. The meeting was attended by the Director Research and Program Development of NAMTIP, Olushayo Olubi and Ojoma Ali of the Swiss Embassy. The National Council for Women's Society, NCWS, in Enugu recently invited the National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons, NAPTIB, for their empowerment program. The commander, NAPTIB Enugu Zonal Command, Neka Adora Aji, used the opportunity to sensitize the women on the trends and dangers of human trafficking and gender-based violence. At the end of the event, NECA inducted the women as ambassadors of NAPTIP using the NAPTIP red cards and encouraged them to always speak up. The High Court sitting in Lagos State, presided over by Honorable Justice Akintayo Aluku, has sentenced a 46-year-old trafficker, Alhaji Mutalasani, to four years imprisonment and payment of two million naira as compensation for the psychological physical and emotional abuse he meted out on his victims. Payment of compensation to victims is in line with Section 65, Subsection 2 of the Trafficking in Persons Prohibition, Enforcement and Administration Act 2015. Our victim story segment will be on shortly. It's still nap tip on the move. A 
every time our daddy will be telling us to be beating our mommy that she's a witch before she kill us we should kill her so the time the the my mom my mommy has the was pregnant for this our brother our daddy now say she should be following her to be going to work my mommy will, will, will follow him to work they will break stone she, they will be doing parapet in a tall building was away is under I, I was following them to the work so that was how my mommy suffered, suffered, they gave birth to this boy. Since that time, almost five years now. Last time they, they fight, uh, our sister now ran away from the house. But she now come back, around September. They fought again because money lost in our house. They fought, our dad, our dad now took us to the village. So uh, we came back and asked of our sister. They said she's, no, she's nowhere to be found. And the, we, we were in the village, the, the man that, uh, that our father kept, kept us with, she was mistreating us. Let, you see the rashes on our body. So that, that was how the people in the village now call him to come and pick us, that the maltreatment is too much. Our dad now said all the property in the house, took everything and ran away, including the pots, everything that they suffered for. And there was nothing remaining in the house again. Even the shock that my mom was using to sell fish pie. He sold everything. Our mommy was crying. Even the time we were in the village, our mommy said she was dream, dreaming about us. So she would be praying for us. So as she told us, and I said, I was now thinking that, I already said she's a wish. That she's a wish. How could she be thinking about us in the village again? The last quarter that happened, our, our mommy said she, she wants to buy a sewing machine. For uh, she, she learned cup and all these bread and cake. Our mom says she needs a machine. So they are now saving so much more money. Our dad now brought, and it was not a serious issue, our dad now brought the issue. They, then they now correct. He now collected the money. Our mom now said if it is the same machine, she, she should leave it, that that one should not bring correct. Our dad now started beating her that night. It was a Sunday night. He now started beating her. Then she now broke her arm. The next one, we now woke up for prayer. He woke up, she now woke up. The hand that was painting her, we rose it up. She did not talk. I now search her gun. I now saw 600 Naira. Then I now used to enter transport from that Gokalada side to Gale Village to see the human rights radio. I now reached there. They now asked me what the problem and I told them everything. They now called NAPTIP and police to, to, the, to our house. I did not see their vehicle. He ran away. They call him not again thing. They use different sound and call him it not again thing. So they now say let them take our mommy to hospital and bring us to, to Naptip. So Naptip now brought us here that same day. That's how we, we came here. Now my, myself and my sibling, siblings we are in the Naptip shelter. We want to thank Naptip for rescuing our mother and bringing us to the shelter. Every day, NAPTIP receives reports on all forms of violence against persons, diverse cases of domestic violence, rape, incest, physical abuse, especially child abuse. NAPTIP is leaving no stone unturned to ensure that victims are compensated and offenders severely punished. But NAPTIP needs a lot of support. The VAP Act can be most effective when each state government takes the required steps to domesticate the Act. Then victims shun the culture of silence and report to NAPTIP. Call NAPTIP today on 0703-000203 or the toll-free short code 627. NAPTIP, ensuring a human trafficking and violence-free nation. For more inquiries and support or to report cases of suspected human trafficking, violence against persons and child abuse, please call NAPTIP hotline 0703 Zero 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 two zero three, or the short code six two seven, or email us info at naptip.gov.ng. Visit our website www.naptip.gov.ng. Follow us on our social media platforms at Naptip Nigeria, or watch our videos on YouTube. It's time to say goodbye, but I must thank you for watching and urge you to report cases of human trafficking, violence against persons, and child abuse. I'm Angela Agwegi. See you again soon.